Choosing a paint color for your bedroom is way, way easier than choosing a paint color for your kid's bedroom. And that's because you know what you want, you know what your style is, the personality, your likes, dislikes. However, when it comes to your kid's bedroom choices, picking the best paint color can be quite stressful. Of course, if you ask your kid what colors they like, they're quite likely to answer the major primary paint colors. Well, colors like red, yellow, blue and green. Your son is quite likely to be like, Mama, I want all the walls in blue paint color. Whereas your daughter is going to be like, Mom, I want everything pink. But is that the best option for us? Have you been there and can you relate to this? Well, trust me, I regularly get such color consultation clients who are always confused between their kids' choices and what is actually going to look good in their bedroom. This is Nishta from Nish Online Interior Design, Paint Color Consultation and Home Decor Content Writing. In this video today, we will be discussing color psychology and kids mood, how we can calm down our kids using paint colors and my absolute top 11 Sherwin Williams paint colors that are best suited for any kid's room, boy or girl. So I'm going to commence with some pointers that you must note when choosing the best paint color for your kid's room followed by my top 11 Sherwin Williams paint color picks. So number one, always remember to choose paint colors that are either neutrals or pastels. Remember, the generic primary colors like red, blue and green can end up making your space look energetic and uninviting. Whereas the pastels and neutrals are going to calm down your kid after a long day of playing and studying. You must pick lighter and breezy tones as compared to darker and bolder tones. Even if your kid is drawn towards some specific dark paint color, just tell them that they only have the option to paint one wall in it and the rest three are up to you. Number three, now here's where you have to play very very smart with your kids. Ask your kid what colors they generally like. They're quite likely to answer blue, red, pink, green and yellow. Stick to it, choose neutral versions of these paint colors like blue-grey, beige, beige that means pink and beige and colors like that. So once you choose neutrals, you get the best of both worlds. For instance, if they tell you that they're really drawn towards the blue paint colors, you have the option to choose from, let's say Sherwin Williams North Star or Sherwin Williams Waterloo. Or if they say they're fond of the green paint colors, choose Sherwin Williams Sea Salt or Sherwin Williams Rain Washed. You can also choose Sherwin Williams Watery that is more drawn towards the colors as compared to the neutrals. Well, this is going to make them happy and you satisfied with the paint color you chose for their walls. And lastly, introduce the concept of wainscoting. So if they are particularly drawn towards a bolder, darker color, what you can do is, you can divide their wall into two parts. You can have the wainscoting running around the perimeter of their room and choose a lighter grey, lighter beige, an off-white or a cream colour on the remaining part of the walls and that bolder accent colour on the wainscoting. Well, this is even better if your kid starts to feel bored of that wainscoting colour in the coming future. Well, you can always repaint and refresh it. So now that we've discussed the tips and tricks to entice your kid, let's discuss how paint color and color psychology affect your kid's moods. Research shows that paint colors have a major impact on your kid's emotions and feelings throughout the day. A warmer color like blood red or burnt sienna is bound to make your kid go anxious and energetic throughout the day. Whereas calmer and cooler colors like grey greens and blue greens and greys are bound to make them much calmer and serene throughout the day. So now we know what are the do's and what are the don'ts. 
let's say the blues the grays the greens are definitely a yes yes but the reds the terracotta and the yellows are definitely a no no however if they're drawn towards the warmer and creamier colors you always have the opportunity to add a tinge of reds warm terracottas on the decor on their toys as well as the bed frames or bed spreads but i would say you stay away from such warmer colors since they're not going to last long and make your kid anxious all the time now let's discuss my top 11 picks for shovin williams kids room paint colors and we'll start with one of my absolute favorites shovin williams sea salt shovin williams sea salt is a perfect gray green paint color for your kids bedroom you can either choose to paint all your walls in shovin williams sea salt or even add this touch of color on the wainscoting This cool and soothing paint color will calm and tranquilize your kid and bring a sense of serenity to the room. And since this color doesn't feel too childish, it wouldn't feel too outdated or boring once your kid grows up. Some creative ways to use Sherwin Williams sea salt in your kid's bedroom would be number 1, painting all the walls in Sherwin Williams sea salt. Number 2, painting just the accent wall in this color. Number 3, painting the wainscoting in this color and letting the remaining walls be cream or any shade of off white and lastly you can also paint the ceiling in shervin william sea salt to add that dynamic character to the room you can have a look at my latest prepackaged color palette for shervin william sea salt for the entire house here on etsy as well as my website secondly shervin william's rain Rain by Sherwin Williams is a cool blue paint color with sneaky green undertones. This kids room paint color also has a hint of gray which can make your space feel cool, calm and slightly colder. Well, you must allow ample natural light to enter the room with Sherwin Williams rain on board. Since this color has a tendency to look slightly bolder than other lighter and breezier paint colors, I'd say that you either stick to painting the wainscoting in this color or simply paint an accent wall in this specific Sherwin Williams blue paint color. So it's time that you paint the cradle in crisp white and style it right in front of the accent wall. Even wall paneling wouldn't be a bad option. The next color is Sherwin Williams Romance. Even though this is not a very popular paint color, but it is definitely on the top of my list for your baby girl's bedroom. Pink paint is typically a go-to choice for the baby girl's bedroom. This Sherwin Williams Romance paint color tends to arouse a feeling of calmness and femininity, hence ideal for your young girls and toddlers to brighten their rooms. It's rather a cool paint color that perfectly aligns with cool whites, deep blues and lighter grays. This pink paint color has a tendency to look slightly cooler in the north facing rooms whereas in the south facing rooms this color can give you a perfect touch of warmth and welcomeness. My next go to color would be Sherwin Williams Tame Teal. Sherwin Williams Tame Teal is a beautiful blue green minty paint color. This paint color can enliven your kids room space and make it feel more cool and energetic. Don't confuse this tame teal paint color with the subtle neutral because it's readily stark and saturated. At the same time, it can happen to make your kid feel relaxed, tranquilized and calm. You can best pair this tame teal paint color with coral pinks, mustards, grays and off-whites. The next color on the list is Sherwin Williams Expressive Plum. I know you'd ask me, Nishta, why is there a bolder and darker color on your list? Well, that's because it's a neutral paint color with deep gray undertones. Like I said, Sherwin Williams Expressive Plum is a gray purple paint color that can add a sense of boldness and depth to your kids' rooms. The darker color can make a beautiful and striking visual interest in your baby daughter's room. Hence something to consider if you prefer a darker toned paint color for the kids area. But again, remember not to paint all the walls in this paint color since that can overwhelm your kid and make the space feel dull and dark at all times. I would recommend you to use this paint color only on the wainscoting, the accent wall, the wall paneling or simply just on the ceiling of a kids room. My next recommendation is Sherwin Williams Marshmallow. 
Shawn Williams Marshmallow is a beautiful feminine white paint color with deep pink or beige undertones. It's mainly an off-white paint with an utmost warm look and feel. Hence, great to calm down your kids' face and make them feel homely and lively. If you're dealing with a smaller size kids' room, this color can help create an illusion of a larger space. I highly recommend choosing this paint color on any of the compass directions since it's much neutral and can give a beautiful look in any direction. My next paint color choice for your kids' bedroom would be Sherwin Williams North Star. Sherwin Williams North Star is a pretty and calm bluish gray paint color that can add utmost charm and serenity to any space. It's quite a cool toned paint color, hence I highly recommend avoiding the use of this paint in the north facing rooms in colder climates. That's only going to make your kids room feel dull and dingy. For warmer climates in the south facing kids rooms, this color is definitely a yes. This color can be used on all the walls of a kids bedroom. Avoid this color as an accent on the wall, but definitely do give a try this paint color on the wainscoting as well as the ceiling. To add a sense of contrast, you can add a blush pink or mustard yellow paint color for the entryway door of a kid's room. My next go-to color would be Sherwin Williams Dry Thyme. Sherwin Williams Dry Thyme is a cool and dark grey-green paint color with an utmost calming effect. This kid's room paint color will definitely calm you, soothe you and make your kid feel more restful and relaxed. Even if the toddler tends to get cranky and moody, this color will create poise in the environment. There are multiple fancy ways to use this paint color in your kid's bedroom. You can use it on the wainscoting, you can use it as an accent wall or paint just the ceiling or the entryway door in this specific paint color. Moreover, this color is not subjected to a specific gender which is why you can use this paint color on either boys or girls rooms. My next go-to color is Sherwin Williams Alabaster. Sherwin Williams Alabaster is also one of my absolute favorite Sherwin Williams paint colors. It's warm, creamy, cozy, neutral and will never make your space feel outdated or boring. This color can also be used on all the common walls of your home as well as any warmer tone color palette. Sherwin Williams Alabaster is all set to make your kids room feel happy, delightful and restful. You can also go with an all white theme and choose this nursery paint color on all the walls, ceiling and trims. Have a look at my latest pre-packaged color palette for Sherwin Williams Alabaster for your whole house. It's available on Etsy as well as my website. When picking the best paint color for your kid's bedroom, don't just stick to the grey greens, greys and grey blues. You can also play with colors like pages which means pink plus beige to make it more calmer and subtle, plum as well as mauves. So my next pick is going to be Sherwin Williams Studio Mauve. The majestic and pretty Sherwin Williams Studio Mauve is a mauve paint color that is well suited for your kid's nursery and bedroom. It's neither too dark nor too light, hence a perfect paint color to add calmness and serenity to your kid's space. This paint color can be slightly cool, so you can always calm it down by adding the touches of mustard, rich gold, warm whites and greys. I highly suggest you style the furniture framed in satin brass to add a statement of luxury and glam with this paint color. Lastly, Sherwin Williams Light French Grey. Now that we've picked the various blue greys, green greys, pink, off-whites and mauves, it's time to get back to the absolute norm. Yes, I'm talking about the neutral grey paint colors here. Sherwin Williams Light French Grey is one such notable grey color that looks crisp, clean and refined when used on the walls of the kids' rooms. It adds significant depth and subtleness, hence a great recommendation for south as well as west facing rooms. Try avoiding this paint color in the north facing rooms since it can be too cool, crisp and unwelcoming. Have a look at my latest pre-packaged color palette for Sherwin Williams Light French Grey for your whole house. You can either find it on Etsy or my website. So now that we've discussed the best paint colors for your kids' rooms, 
Are you excited to incorporating any? Well, you must show one of these inspirational images to your kids and ask them which color palette and which room setup they like the most. Before concluding, I would like to throw some light upon the compass directions as well as the natural lighting conditions of a kid's rooms. If you have a north facing kids room, I'd say that you stay away from cooler and crisper colors since that can absolutely make your kid feel more cold and uninviting. Whereas in the south facing kids rooms, you can always experiment with warmer as well as cooler tone pink colors. Meanwhile, you must always choose lighter and breezier tones for smaller kids rooms and if your kids room has sufficient size to it, you can always experiment with darker and bolder tones. Forward this video to your friends who are looking to paint their kids bedroom and do let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do check out my blog where I have tons of articles and paint related blogs. I've added the link below. Lastly, don't forget to give a thumbs up and click on subscribe button for weekly dose of interior decoration and paint color advice. I'll soon be back with another color video for you. Until then, ciao!